rest of the hour, our focus is on the power of food to heal your body, to give you more energy, and even help you lose weight. Now, we're starting with the promise of food as medicine. You have the power to help prevent cancer. That is an absolute truism. The solution lies in your supermarket. Today, I'm revealing four of the best cancer-fighting foods out there. Dr. Will Clower is a nutritionist and founder of the Mediterranean Wellness Initiative. He's going to help us out. Let me just ask the big question for everybody. Yeah. We spend literally billions of dollars researching cancer solutions. Yeah. Yet, you're making the argument that food could be as powerful as a tool to prevent cancer. Why should folks believe that? Well, all of these foods that we're going to be talking about are backed up by solid research showing that when you consume them, you can not only slow the growth of cancer, but you can also prevent the onset at the beginning. And we're going to go through the hard science on this, but I want you to remember what the action steps are, the takeaways are. So the first cancer-fighting food are collard greens, which you've all heard about. But why are collard greens so important in fighting cancer? Well, people spend a lot of money on detox. Detox your body, this and that. You know what, do you want to detox your body? Collards. If you have a tumor, mm -hmm. it needs nutrients to grow. Right. And that needs blood supply. And what collards do is they will interrupt that blood supply so your tumor can't get the nutrients to grow. So essentially, when you eat your collards, you'll starve your tumor. And that is a starvation diet I can live with. Yeah, I can live with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Strangle those babies. Yeah. You know, we just talked about ovarian cancer, this, and one of the big silent yeah, killers. Yeah. Cruciferous vegetables like collard greens are weapons in that battle to fight off ovarian cancer, other cancers as well. And when cancer survivors, I don't be clear about this. This is not just a few people tried it, they think it makes sense. Big trials have been done on this stuff. Yeah. So, what's the key to unlocking their power? I'll pull the leaves off those, off the ribs in the middle, and when you rip them and tear them and even chew them just exactly like that, you have just started releasing the enzymes that create the anti-cancer cascade mm -hmm. that blocks the blood supply, that helps limit your cancer. That's all you have to do. It's beautiful. And how much of this should we be eating, you think, in a week, for example? Well, with the cruci cruciforms, you should have them daily, but for collards, maybe uh, a cooked cup twice a week. Yeah. You, know you guys over here, you start eating right yeah. now. There you go. Get started. Stuff. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The next cancer fighting food are white beans. Now, a lot of other beans get a lot of credit, but why are these so powerful? Well, you're right. These are a bit of an unsung hero because we always hear about red beans and pinto beans and whatnot. Mm. And did you know that, that if you just add, all you have to do is add about 10 grams of added fiber to your diet, and your risk of getting colon cancer drops by about 10%. That's like 20 cents to get that kind of return. That's a return on your investment that's uh, easy to live with. 10 grams of fiber. 10 grams of fiber, exactly. All right, yeah, remember, eating foods that are high fiber also reduces your cholesterol levels, yep. which is an independent benefit, but that can also help with those walls that get thin when you get brain aneurysms. We talked that's about right. it earlier. When that thing pops, again, it's a little late to start taking your fiber, so get them ahead of time. Uh, now, Will, before I leave this, has a fantastic beans <laughs> and greens <laughs> recipe. Put these two together. This thing is to die for. It's on DrOz.com. It's a dish in one to fight off cancer. Think about this. And it right, tastes you good have to try it. Let me know how it goes. No, I'm like, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like the concept already. The next cancer fighting food uh, are San Marzano tomatoes. Now, now, we talked about the power of tomatoes. Why in particular these ones? Um, these are grown in southern Italy in a type of soil uh, that is, uh, there's a lot of uh, ash. volcanic yeah, ash, mm -hmm. which does a couple of things. It makes the acidity go down, so they're sweeter tomatoes. The skins are thinner. They're easier to take. And there are also data suggesting that they may have more of the cancer fighters in them, which include things like lycopenes. So I get how much do you need of this to prevent cancer? Uh, about a half a cup three times per week. Okay. The thing about this that's really great, and one of the things that people ask over and over and over is about cooking. The bioavailability of the lycopenes increases as you cook it to the tune of 150%. My goodness. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to add this to my beans and greens. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's like, <laughs> all right. We'll get a big pot. Now, I say, Will, the best for last. The next cancer fighter is the biggest superstar in the supermarket. You guys are always asking me about this. It's something you drink every single day. I'm talking about coffee. Yeah. Now, this is what I call the anti cancer comeback kid because <laughs> it has taken a hit in the past. I'm going to spell this out for sure. you. I don't want any mistakes about this. Here's a list of all the cancers that are proven to have been impacted beneficially by drinking coffee. Breast cancer, kidney cancer, uterine cancer, liver, colon, prostate. Across the board, about a 3% reduction of risk of all cancers. So let me give one other little tip. You don't need to buy expensive European That's or fancy right. roasts. Right. 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 You can just buy American.
But it turns out that American coffee seems to be better for you. All the light roasts are. Why is that? Um, there are data showing that it has more of the antioxidants, the polyphenols, that are in there. And the longer the roast, the more it, uh, it takes it out of, of the coffee. So you don't have to buy the expensive, the fancy one. There you go. I'll toast it. Buy American, folks. There you go. And how much do we need? Um, three cups per day. Three cups a day. Three cups a day. Cups, cups. It's this size. Yes. Again, if you're having side effects, don't force yourself to drink this. But for a lot of you, it's doable. Thank you very much. We Thank appreciate you. it. All right, up next. You want to know how you can lose 20 pounds a year by doing almost nothing at all? I've got the healthiest cereals under 100 calories. Stay with us.